create an instance document basically go to your schema file name down here in the navigator panel do a right click generate XML file and it basically is address book schema but let's remove XML book address book instance next our root elements records basically it's where we are verifying that and also we have uh, in this, our case we don't have any attributes but we have optional elements and attributes are uh, we didn't specify them at this time uh, let's leave just this go with this default values and I'll show you why we left them out because sometimes you may not want to use optional elements so rather than deleting them you're not gonna have them to begin with and let's say finish and this is the interface that we are going to use to uh, enter our uh, information. So our root elements up here, and we are s what we are seeing is just the attributes associated with the XML document here, the, uh, with the schema originally. You are seeing the schema location and w3c.org information and the, your namespace. But since we specified our entry optional too, you might recall here our entry zero asterisk means it may not necessarily appear so that's why we are not seeing one by default so to be able to start creating those entries you need to right click on root element and add child so you're gonna see our entry here entry element which is another complex type but it's a, it is, it's a child element to our uh, root element so click here and when you click here you can see those only two elements. These are the two elements uh, that we specified as required. That's why they appear. Uh, but if you need to add, let's say, phone number or email address or multiple phone numbers or email address for a person, simply do a right click on the entry, add child. So you can see all of these optional elements we specified our, in our schema. That's where we are picking up this information. Let's say we are going to have email address for this person. Uh, and let's say I'm going to have also street address information for this person and let's populate this let's say this is John Doe you can simply the content part is the value set you put for these uh, elements John Doe at UNC.edu As it rather, let's say Spring Garden Road. Okay. If you want to make another entry in your uh, address book, simply again you go to your root element, do a right click, a child, entry. Now it is created. So we have first name, last name fields. Let's create for this Jane Doe. Okay. And let's say Jane Doe may have uh, two phone numbers. Do a right click for that particular entry and add child phone number. And let's add another phone number. This person has two phone numbers. Let's say 336 5. Five 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 three three six six. Now we have two uh, phone numbers for this person. If you want to see the source view, how it our XML document actually looks like, so you can see the records. So we have multiple entries for our root element, which is records, and here is the each entry and this is the records uh, ending tag so you can see it up here so all the record you can make this changes in the source view so all of these are entries you can have as many uh, entries as you want then let's save our document and let's do validation right click validate now it's valid what it means it it confirms the XML standards maybe have beginning tanks closing tanks we don't have any weird 
uh, punctuations or uh, characters or also our XML instance document complies with our schema document the specifications that we in the include in our uh, schema document so they are all complied in here since we generate our XML schema uh, XML instance out of our schema here so uh, chances are uh, you know you're not going to make any mistakes with the validation 